Ledyard Bridge provides a scenic gateway to Dartmouth and the time-honored path for Big Green seniors walking arm in arm, bringing home another championship. This is their story. the Big Green of Dartmouth against the Crusaders of Holy Cross. Holy Cross goes into a 14-0 lead, but Dartmouth shows it can rally and provides fans with a spark of what is to come early in the season in this game at Holy Cross. First defensive back Mike Patsis gets a hand on this Holy Cross punt. Then on offense, Rick Stafford, replacing an injured Frank Balsanello, hits Jack Daly on this 33-yard touchdown pass. It's a beauty. Dartmouth back in the ball game, and a short while later, it's Stafford again. This time, the Dartmouth quarterback avoids the blitz, and he hits all Ivy Leaguer daily on this 73-yard touchdown pass, narrowing the Crusader lead to 14-12. later against Colgate's Red Raiders, Rick Stafford completes 13 of 24 passes. Stafford to John Olenichek for the touchdown. And Stafford hooking up with Daly for another big green touchdown. The Dartmouth defense starts to get its act together. Co-captain and all Ivy League linebacker Dave Neslin intercepts this Steve Calabria pass. Then it's the offense again. Fast becoming a force to be reckoned with. Stafford to Daly, the combination. If it works, do it again. After play action, Stafford maintains his balance and he hits Daly again on a superb catch. And now, Daly for the touchdown from Stafford. The junior daily finishes the season with 55 catches for 1,034 yards, both season records. There are signs during a loss at William & Mary that things are improving. William & Mary about to punt. Steve Carroll on the block. The special teams worked extra hard on this day. Mike Patsis blocks this field goal attempt, and John Corbett advances the ball for Dartmouth. Stafford takes to the air, and he looks for tight end Buck Foot. Stafford off the play action, good time to throw, and the pass is complete. Now Stafford to the air for a touchdown. Once again, to all Ivy League, Jack Daly. Nice grab in the end zone for the score. Andrews' point after touchdown ties the score. William & Mary comes back to win, but Dartmouth's improving defense sets the tone for the drive to the championship. John Asher blocks this punt, and Scott Keogh returns it for a touchdown, and Dartmouth's final score of the day. up the Harvard Crimson. Dartmouth will break into the win column against their arch rivals in Hanover in mid-October and jump into the thick of the Ivy League race. But the Dartmouth-Harvard game means a lot more than just a football game. It means tailgating. It means class reunions. It means bonfire. I'll have a slice of the ham and a little salad, please. It means good times for everyone, alumni and the students as well who join into the fun. Men of Harvard come onto the field to meet Dartmouth at Hanover. This is to be a big day for the Dartmouth Big Green of Joe Yukiko. Despite trailing early in the game 3-0, Dartmouth rallies. Co-captain Sean Marr rambles for nine yards, blocked by Steve Quinn and Paul Fetchelcott. And then it's Marr for the touchdown with a good block by center Mark Perry. The senior is injured and lost for the next two games. Marr takes it in. Andrews 
point after touchdown will make it 7-3, to three, Dartmouth at the half. Dartmouth President David McLaughlin is the halftime guest on the closed circuit broadcast of the game that is televised nationally to Dartmouth and Harvard clubs. Defense dominates the third quarter of play. Harvard quarterback John Reardon is sacked by Chris Cogwillo, John Corbett, and Steve Carroll. When the drive stalls, Harvard's Jim Valenueva hits a 31-yard field goal to close the margin to 7-6. To then Dartmouth takes the lead for good. This Rick Stafford to John Olenicek touchdown pass goes for 73 yards. It's the longest touchdown pass play in Dartmouth-Harvard history. But Harvard battles back. Despite the jubilation of the Dartmouth players and the Dartmouth crowd, there's fight left in the Harvard team. Touchdown. That narrows the Dartmouth lead to 14 to 12. Then the Dartmouth defense takes over. It's defense that makes the big play. All Ivy John Corbett, Mike Patsis, and Fran Manning applying the pressure, and the two-point conversion fails. And Dartmouth preserves a 14 to 12 win. Those guard Mike Lena's actions says it all. The Dartmouth defense shows its maturity and confidence again at Cornell. All Ivy Bob Delasola stops Toby Baker. Good shoestring tackle. And Mark Harmon on the power sweep is stopped by Mike Lena, Don Pomeroy, Steve Carroll, and Bill Rossi. Corbett and Neslin on this stop. And on this play, Rossi does it alone. Manny, Pomeroy, and Lena bottle up the Big Red. Trailing 7-0, the Green rallies to start the second half. The kickoff, and Dartmouth gets in great field position. Peter Lavery returns the kick for 20 yards, sprung by Spiegelman and Fetchelkotter. Sophomore Richard Weissman, 156 yards on the day, goes for nine behind Quinn and Spiegelman. Then sophomore quarterback Mike Caraviello, replacing an injured Stafford, hits Jack Daly. Now Caraviello to tight end Buck Foot. Caraviello keeps the thing in the air. He goes to Olenicek, a great block by Ike Skirman. Play action over the middle to Brown. That takes it to the five-yard line. Dartmouth scores as Weissman behind Spiegelman and Foot goes in for a touchdown and a 7-7 tie. The defense stiffens in the fourth quarter. Rossi and Pomeroy stop Harmon. Nose guard Lena stops Harmon. And on fourth down, Harmon is stopped by Harold Burke and Rossi. On offense, the green goes to work. Caraviello, in trouble, scrambles with 13 behind Skirman. Then the sophomore quarterback takes to the air to Daly for a 16-yard gain. Dartmouth takes the lead as Caraviello. It's tight end Dave Brown on a perfect nine-yard touchdown strike and a 14-7 lead. But with a minute to play, there's trouble. Paul Royer blocks this Rick Bayless punt. Good field position for Cornell. Hugie for the touchdown with 12 seconds left. 
Now the critical two-point conversion attempt. It's stopped by Manning and Carroll to preserve a Dartmouth 14-13 victory. In a wide-open Ivy League shootout against Yale, October 30th in Hanover, Dartmouth takes a 21-3 lead, only to see the Eli rally for a 22-21 victory. A full house at Hanover for Dartmouth and Yale. Early in the game, the Dartmouth defense shuts Yale down. Pressure on the Yale quarterback. The Dartmouth stand go wild. The Dartmouth coaches discuss strategy. Dartmouth catches fire after a 3-0 Yale lead. It's Caraviello to Daly for 29 yards. Then John Olenicek on the reverse for a touchdown and a 7-3 lead. Takes it in behind Mark Perry. Touchdown, Dartmouth. The defense rises up again to stop the Eli. Dave Neslin intercepts this Joe Dufek pass. On the turnover, Dartmouth begins to drive. Caraviello to Daly on a 43-yard touchdown strike. And it's a 14-3 Dartmouth lead. The Dartmouth defense does it again, forcing Yale to punt. Joe Yukik is happy with the way things are going so far. Caraviello drops back to throw. He hits Daly down to the Yale 15-yard line. Weissman on the pitch, sweeps to the three behind Dave Brown. With Mike Bacora in motion, Weissman goes for the touchdown behind John Weiss and Mark Perry for a 21-3 lead. But in a disappointing second half, Yale rally. Trailing by six, the Eli drive in the fourth quarter. Dartmouth appears to have it stopped. Ram Manning sacking Joe Dufek on fourth down, but a critical holding call nullifies the play. And Yale scores the winning touchdown three plays later on that John Neville run. The name of the game with Columbia is 56 Dartmouth points in a 56 to 41 victory. The Dartmouth offense gets rolling early. It's Caraviello to John Olenicek for 32 yards. Nice catch on the sideline. Then Caraviello to Daly. Dartmouth goes into the end zone as Caraviello pitches to Weissman. He sweeps to the right for the touchdown behind Tom Bruno and Jack Daly. And the cymbals clang and the band plays on. On Dartmouth's second series, it's Caraviello to Olenicek. Down the middle and a big gain for Dartmouth. And it's Weissman for his second touchdown behind Spiegelman, Daly, and Quinn. Things are in control as the Dartmouth coaches pace the sidelines. The Dartmouth offensive machine rolls again. Olenicek on a reverse behind John Weiss and Ken Faree. Then the passing combination. Garabiello to Daly. And Sean Marr takes it in for the touchdown behind the block of Steve Quinn. Columbia finally puts a 
score up on the board. But less than a minute later, it's Dartmouth scoring again. Caraviello, with blocks by Tom Broadhead and Slade Schuster, hits Daly for a 26-14 halftime lead. The action really starts to heat up in the third quarter. Columbia to punt. It comes down to Peter Lavery. He takes the punt back 78 yards for a touchdown. And with this run, he becomes the all-time kick returner at Dartmouth. Downfield blocks by Willis, Konachevsky, Yim, Jackson, and Walker. On the next Columbia possession, the Dartmouth defense scores. They pick up two on this safety. Columbia quarterback Witkowski drops into the end zone. But there he's sacked by John Corbett, Mike Lena, and Bob Delasola. After the Columbia free kick, Dartmouth moves again. Marr on this long gainer behind Faree and Fetchel caught it. And it's Caraviello. On the toss to Marr for the touchdown, the block by tight end John Cania. In his first action since Holy Cross, quarterback Frank Paul Sonello hits Dartmouth tight end Dave Brown. Good blocking for Paul Sonello. Up over the top, nice catch. And Dartmouth takes it in for a score. Lorenzo Chambers for the touchdown behind fullback Richard Durant. On this day of lighting up the scoreboard, Dartmouth adds its final points. Quarterback Rick Stafford pitches to Lavery with blocks by Bill Connolly and Ike Skirman. He takes it down the sideline and cuts back toward the middle. Nice piece of running to put Dartmouth in good shape. Senior Jim Ventry behind Broadhead. Bakelja and Duretti for the touchdown. And Jeff Andrews knocks through the 56th point of the day for Dark. It's the road white uniforms for the final two games of the 1982 college football season for Dartmouth. Playing at Brown. The Big Green comes out to take a 7-0 first quarter lead. Dartmouth opens up the scoring as Weissman goes for a gain behind Quinn and Spiegelman. Moving the ball deep into Brown territory. Then, Caraviello to Olenicek on the sideline. This time, the quarterback Caraviello on a keeper. He scrambles down to the Brown five-yard line. Where Weissman behind Spiegelman Takes it around the left side for a touchdown and a 7-0 Dartmouth lead. Brown comes back to take the lead themselves at 10-7. But Dartmouth ties it up on this Jeff Andrews 28-yard field goal in the third quarter. Brown's Joe Potter to Paul Farnham for a 16-10 Brown lead. The point after attempt fails. But Dartmouth ties the score. Caraviello to Daly for a big game. Then Marr behind Fetchel, Cotter, and Quinn. Rambles it all the way down to the Brown 19-yard line. Dartmouth goes in for the scores. Caraviello on a blind bootleg. Sweeps to the left side. And he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. On Brown's next play from scrimmage, in the game that's tied at 16 to 16, 
the key play. Dave Neslin intercepts this Potter pass. And behind Rossi and Dan Carson, returns it 31 yards. The cut to the outside, and he goes all the way for the winning touchdown. The big green defense puts the icing on the kick. First, Mike Lena sacks Potter. Then, with Brown trying a desperation pass, Don Pomeroy pulls off this interception to preserve the Dartmouth victory. A stunning 43-20 victory at Princeton, combined with a Cornell shutout of Pennsylvania, gives the Green a share of its 13th Ivy League championship, its second in succession. Dartmouth starts early. Caraviello, checking off at the line of scrimmage, hits Daly for 39 yards and again inside the five-yard line. Marr behind Weiss and Paris over the top for the touchdown. Still in the first quarter, Caraviello hits Daly for his first touchdown of the day from seven yards out. The green is on a roll. On the next series, it's Caraviello to Daly. And the junior receiver set single season receiving marks for receptions and yards. To start the second quarter, they keep it up. Caraviello to Daly for a touchdown and a 21-0 Dartmouth lead. After Princeton punts, Caraviello drops back and then scrambles. Picks up 10 yards going right up the middle. Caraviello and Daly have been hooking up all day, and they do it again. This time, the pass completion for 17 yards. Now Caraviello fakes to Weissman, and he hits tight end Dave Brown for the Dartmouth touchdown. On the ensuing kickoff, Princeton's John Coveney fumbles after being hit by Mike Patsis. Solid hit. The ball pops loose, and John Asher recovers for Dartmouth. The Big Green takes advantage. Seven plays later, Jeff Andrews lines up and hits this 24-yard field goal for a 30-0 Dartmouth halftime lead. The defense, anchored by number 20 Corbett, number 49 Neslin, and promising sophomores Andy Osman, Mike Oniski, and Hal Burke, keep Princeton from the end zone. On this play, Dan Carson's coverage forces an overthrow. Dartmouth wastes little time in scoring. Weissman takes it in around the left side for a touchdown and a 36 to nothing Dartmouth lead to end the quarter. Then, Dartmouth registers the most points ever put on the board against the Tigers with a fourth period touchdown. Weissman goes off tackle for 40 yards. And since he did all the hard work and had the big game, he gets the honor of scoring the touchdown. Weissman into the end zone and a 43 to 20 Dartmouth victory and another Ivy League championship. So the Ivy League trophy returns back over the Ledyard Bridge to Hanover. For Coach Joe Yukika, it's his 100th career victory. For Coach Yukika, his third Ivy League championship in five years at the helm of the Big Green. As you look at the picturesque campus and rolling hills of northern New England of Dartmouth College, remember that there are two things synonymous with Dartmouth football. Winning Ivy League championships is certainly one of them. Dartmouth has won the title 13 times. In addition to winning football games and Ivy League championships, at Dartmouth College, perhaps more than anything else, football is fun. <laughs> <laughs>